Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free product page template for Divi's Electronics Store Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so for this tutorial, we need to first download WooCommerce because our products will not be able to show if we don't have WooCommerce installed. So WooCommerce is a free online shop uh, plugin and it is uh, very easy to install. So what you want to do is to install it by coming over here to plugins and then click on add new. Next, you want to search for WooCommerce and here it is. So in my case, I've gone ahead and uh, downloaded and installed it and activated it. So in your case, you will see a button like similar to this, which says install now. So once you click install, it will ask you to activate and then when you hit activate, this is what it's going to look like. So I've already gone ahead, as I mentioned, and installed WooCommerce. So the next step now is to add our product. So to add our product, you want to come over here to WooCommerce products and then click on add new. So let's give this product a name. So mine is going to be a drone and I'm going to add my description in here. Next, I'm going to add my price. So let's say this drone is 899. And then on the categories, I'm just going to set it to latest. But of course, you can just leave it as it is as well. This will just work as fine. OK, so the next step now is to uh, add my image. So I want to come over here to product image and select my image and click on set product image. So now I can publish this and take a look and see what this page or this product looks like. So I'm going to view this in a new tab. Now notice that our product here has been added. We can add to carts and everything seems to be in place. Here's my description and so on. So it's okay, this can work, but we want our product page to look way much better than this. And this is why we need to install our template. So to install our template, you want to come over here and I will add this link in the product description below. So you want to go to this link and download the product template. So I'm going to come over here, click on get it for free today, add your email address and then click on download and download the files. OK, so we can see here our file has been downloaded. Next, I just want to navigate to where this zipped file was downloaded because we need to unzip it. So I'm just going to show in Finder and here it is. I'm going to double click on that and here is the file. So I'm going to double click again to go into this and you can see we have a single file called product page template.json. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just drag this over to my other screen so I can start setting up my page. So back over here, all I need to do is to scroll all the way down to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Next, I'm going to come over here to Portability. Click on Import. And now we need to add the file that we've just, just unzipped. So I'm just going to bring it back over here. I'm going to drag this JSON file drop it. Now, before I hit import theme builder template, I'd just like to remind you that if you add it as a zipped file, this will not work. So you need to make sure that you unzip it first. All right. So what I'm going to do next is to import the, uh, the theme builder template. It's going to take a moment. And here we go. So this template now is going to apply to all my products. So let's take a quick look again. So this is what it looks like. And once I hit save changes, if I come back over here and refresh, you can see now that my page has completely changed. So here we have this nice, beautiful title. We also have our image over here to the right. We have our add to cut button here. And when I scroll down, we have our product descriptions. We can also read the reviews here. This button would take us to the reviews. And we also have uh, this section here, which has other products which are trending as well which is really cool. Now over here, we also have our reviews and you can also submit a review. On the bottom here, we have related products. So if you have any products on your shop, they will show up here as related. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to go in and show you how to further customize this and make it look like your own product. So back over here in the theme builder, all we need to do is to click on this pencil icon so let's start here with this top part. So I'm going to go into my section settings here, click on background and 
this is where we can change this main background color. So ideally, you need to have your own color palette so you can go in and change this. So you can see just by clicking that, I was able to go in and change the colors. Okay, so I'm just going to close out of here, move on to the next part. So next, I'm going to come over here and uh, let's take a look at our products that show up when we add them to the card. So I'm going to click on module settings. And again, if I come over here to the background, you can see here, this is where I can change that. Just like clicking on there. Excellent. Next, I'm going to now take a look at this button and also how I change this text. So back over here in our WooCart Notice settings, I'm going to go into a design and I can now start working on the text. So right now I have Monster Ad, so I can change this to say Poppins. You can see that it's just been updated. We can also change the colors. So this is where you go in and customize this. So moving on, we also have this button here. And to customize this button, I'm going to come over here. And we can start by adjusting our text size. And then further down here, we also have our text color. And we can also change the button background color. Like that. Okay, so that's all you need to do. I'm going to go out of here. Now let's move on to our main product. So this is where we have our categories. In fact, let's go in and customize this. So this is our category. We can further customize this by clicking on this paintbrush icon. And we can change the font here to say Monster Rat. And we can also change the colors, make it uh, much easier to read. And it's now showing our latest category. Okay, great. Next, we also have our product name. So this is dynamically selected. So in fact, this will show this product, which means whatever product is on that page is what will show here. OK, um, now uh, let's customize the font. So I'm going to come over here and uh, we can change this to Poppins if you want to. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. We have that. We can adjust the size. We can adjust the colors. OK, I'm just going to close out of that. Next, we have our product description here. So if I'm going to come and also change this. So this is my short description. So I'm going to go in and on the text here, I can change this from default to Poppins. So you can see it's been updated. We can also update the uh, text colors like that. And once we're happy with that, we can use save. And then over here, we have the price. And again, we can go in and adjust the price by Coming over here to design, price text, and these are the colors. So we can change the color to that. We can also change price font. Next, we uh, we have this uh, featured image. So I'm going to go in. So again, this image will show the actual product. And then over here on the design, we can't really do much here because this is dynamically selected. But we can do a few things like perhaps maybe adding the borders. So let's say you want to add a bit of border to that. You can just add it right here. But I am just going to keep it simple. Next, we uh, also have the reviews here, which you can go in and uh, make some adjustments to it as well by clicking on this pen brush icon. So you can see here those um, stars can be changed. You can use different colors like that. And we can also show the stock here. So if you want to make changes to that, you can just go in and... Uh, Click on this gear icon, and this is going to show us our stock settings. Okay, great. Now, moving on, we also have this button. Now, this button can be adjusted similar to how we did before. You just click here on design, search for your button here, and then make changes to this. So you can see this is the background color, which you can change by coming over here. Now, we also have other items here that can be updated, and that is our menu drop downs. So with that, we can change our font here. Let's go with monster at just to make everything um, the same. Okay, now let's move on. Here we have our product description. Now this again is just our text settings. So we can go in and customize this by clicking on the spray brush icon. And we can change our font here from Monster Ad to Poppins, for example. We can change the colors. We can also change the size. 
Okay, so this is where you can go in and make those changes. Next, we also have our product description. So let's say you want to change the font. You can just come over here to text, change this to uh, Monster Ad. We can change the colors as well if we need to. Okay, so moving on, we have this button. I already showed you how this button can be updated. Now, we also have this section here which has this trending stuff. Okay. So to go in and customize that, you can just click on each and every item. So we have our title here named photo. Now, if we need to go in and customize um, the backgrounds, we can just go into our row settings and then go into the columns and then check what's happening on the background. So you can see the first one here has this color, which we can change by coming over here. And uh, the image can be found over here. OK, so the image is showing. Uh, through the background. So this image here is transparent. So that is how these images are added in the background. Okay, so moving on, we also have our reviews here. So to customize this, you can just click on our module settings. And this is our Woo review settings. So here, when you mouse over this area here, this gives us the ability to go in and make our changes. So let's say you want to start here with the name. We can go in here. Now I can see we have letter spacing. If you're not a fan of that, you can just remove that. We can also change our font from uh, regular here to bold. But you know what? Let me just keep it simple. Let me just leave it here at regular. We can also change the colors. Okay, so moving on, we also have the stars. So we can change the colors of the stars like that. We also have the actual comments themselves. We can also change our font here to say Monster Ad. So you can see here, every time I click on something, I can go in and make any changes to this. And this can happen really fast. So you can go in and make all these changes and truly customize this layout and make it your own layout. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Now let's say I'm pretty happy with everything that I've done here. I can now just close out of here, save and exit, save all changes. And now when I come over here, this is pretty much what it looks like. Okay, so go ahead, try it out, uh, make some changes to it to match the rest of your website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.